Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. All right, guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. So looking at the overall crypto market cap today, guys, you guys can see we are currently sitting at $2.27 trillion, up 0.8% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance, on the other hand, is currently sitting at 39%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, as you guys can see, over the last 24 hours, we are seeing majority of the market still in green. But in the last one hour, we are starting to see some altcoins in mild, mild red. But overall, guys, if we are looking at the broader picture, guys, market is still looking extremely, extremely bullish. Uh, and, you know, so far, so good. But today, guys, I want to talk about none other than one project that we absolutely love on our channel. And that's none other than VeChain. All right, my VeChain family, if we are looking at the VeChain price right now, we are sitting right below the $0.08 cents mark. If we obviously round it up, we are currently sitting at $0.08, cents, down 0.4% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also down 1.8% in Bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours. VeChain's current rank in the cryptocurrency market ranking is at the top 34 spot. Market cap right now is $5.3 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is $415.3 million. Once again, we are seeing the buying pressure pull down quite significantly compared to what it was just a couple of days back when we saw that major uh, upwards um, momentum really occur for the price of VeChain. So that's something that we need to point out for you guys. But if we are zooming out and looking at the bigger picture, guys, you know, just the last 14 days alone, just in the last two weeks, we are up 56.6%. So let's not forget that when we are looking at the prices for VeChain. But now let's get right into the exciting stuff. What is happening with the price and where could we be going in the immediate short term? So it's another day that has passed by. We have seen the price of VeChain still consolidating within this 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. We have been you know, hanging around trading sideways for the past couple of days but really have still not managed to break past this level of resistance, which is at that 10 cents mark. Once again, guys, my target is still on this zone. Once we break out of here, guys, things could really start getting exciting for the price of VeChain because the next major target then is around that 13 cents mark. One thing that I do want to bring to your guys' attention as of now is the fact that we are seeing a decrease in the 24-hour trading volume for the price of VeChain. So that's one factor that I do want to uh, bring to your guys' attention. Because if we are comparing the other days, because on my channel, I cover VeChain every day or every other day. So we obviously try to compare what was happening in the past couple of days compared to what's happening now. And if we are seeing what's happening right now, the difference as to what we're seeing is... The buying pressure that we saw just a couple of days ago has decreased quite significantly. Obviously, that is an important factor that should not be ignored. But nothing to worry about right now because if we are looking at the price of Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin has once again closed above this level of resistance, our major, major level of resistance that I've been talking about for quite some time which has been playing as a level of support now, which is at the $46,270 price point. We have seen the price of a Bitcoin close above here once again. And so far, so good. Everything is looking quite bullish, if I am being quite honest with you guys. But if you are an altcoin holder, you know, the thing that is really coming in favor for altcoin holders right now is that BTC dominance has been declining for quite some time, especially for the last couple days we have not seen the money flow out of the cryptocurrency markets which is a bullish indicator so the money is right now staying within our markets and you know the btc dominance pulling down means that people are shifting away from bitcoin into altcoins and you know i've been reading a lot of comments lately you know i've seen a lot of people on even on twitter uh stating that 
is this a start of altcoin season? Are we about to begin an altcoin season? To be quite frank with you guys, we are still quite some time away from altcoin season because in order for us to really see those parabolic type of moves that we saw you know, last year where we saw the altcoins go absolutely insane in April and even around November time when we saw literally an insane mania towards the upside, the BTC dominance around then was still hovering around these zones. So like below uh, around, I would say that 39% mark. So we still have quite some ways to go to that spot in order to really see that happened but so far we have seen btc dominance pull quite sharply since uh, just march 10th and that really goes to show that people are purchasing more altcoins rather than bitcoin right now and we are starting to see a trickling effect majority of the altcoins outperforming bitcoin in the immediate short term and you know obviously v chain is definitely not an exception but as of now guys you know, if you were to come and ask me right now, hey, Crypto ZX, what is your main target for the price of VeChain right now in the immediate short term? Guys, I want you guys to mark this on your calendars, which is at that 10 cents mark. You guys don't want to underestimate how important this level of resistance is, because as I have mentioned, last time we tried to break out of this level of resistance was back on December 27th guys of last year and last time we were above this zone was all the way back on December the 4th so you guys really get the perspective as to why it's very important for the price of VeChain to break out of here I'm per what my prediction is that you know if we are able to break out of here guys then you know we are off to the races and we, I would not see a problem for VeChain to really test this 13.1 cents resistance mark because that is about, once we reach out of there, that is about 30% move from that 10 cents price point. So right now, all eyes should be on this 10 cents mark, guys. And if I am bringing out the measuring tool for you guys to give you guys a better understanding, that is roughly about that is roughly about a 26% move from its current price levels. And what also I have been noticing right now that, you know, not a lot of people are talking about is that VeChain is going getting mentioned more and more on Twitter than it was before a couple months back. We have seen an upwards trend in searches on Google Trends as well, organic growth. That, and that really goes to show that interest is once again coming into VeChain. Since the fact that, Tim Draper tweeted about VeChain, guys. You know, we have seen more and more excitement coming in within the project itself. You guys know my stance on VeChain. You know, long term, guys, I believe this project is here to stay because at the end of the day, they have a strong community, a working product, and they are already working with some of the biggest names around the world. And I believe it is going to show that in the price eventually as well. But as of now, Tencent is still our price target and we will see what happens. But that is it for today's update, guys. Let me know in the comment section below where you could see the price of VeChain go at the end of this year. Let me know in the comment section below. Keep it realistic. And you know what? I am willing to do a giveaway for you guys. If this video is able to get 200 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded, I will give $100 worth of VeChain to one lucky viewer. Very easy and simple to enter. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. And um, whoever comments down below, I will do a random generator once we reach a 200 likes. And if we are able to reach out within 24 hours, one lucky winner walks away with $100 worth of free VeChain on my behalf as a token of appreciation. So uh, good luck to everyone. Thank you so much once again. I love you all. See you guys tomorrow. It's been Crypto ZX and peace.